So you want to learn more about YouTube ads keyword targeting? Well, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to set up keyword ads targeting and also three different ways that you want to go about keyword targeting. All right. So you definitely want to stick with me throughout the rest of this video. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will eventually give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said let's jump right into the content so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna minimize my camera all right so now that my camera is minimized you can see i'm inside of one of my google ad accounts all right so what we're going to do first is we're going to go as if we're about to set up a campaign because the way that you're going to get to your keyword campaigns is to go through that process so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to new campaign all right so once that opens up, all right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to go with create a campaign without a goal. All right. It depends on whatever you want to do, whichever one you're focused on, you can go ahead and do that. But for this one, we just going to stay there. All right. So next, since we're doing YouTube ads, we want to go ahead and click on video. All right. Now from here, I'm just going to have it on custom video campaign. I'm going to leave it there and then I'm going to hit continue. All right, so once it gets over to this next page, it'll be pretty much to where we're going to start creating our ad. Um, and just for just for this video purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and just create like a little test campaign so we can actually get over to the uh, keyword targeting. All right, so boom, they already got that. So I'll just leave that like it is. Um, we'll just do we'll change this to daily real quick and we'll go to five dollars per day. Um, we'll, we'll leave this, uh, we'll, we'll actually take off YouTube search results. We'll just leave, uh, we'll also take off video partners and we'll just leave it as YouTube videos. All right. And then we'll leave it at United States. And as we do this, you'll notice this, this over here, the impressions will start to change. Um, we're going to do English since that's the language that I speak, depending on the language that you're actually trying to target, you want to put that language in there. All right. And then, um, <clears throat> Uh, we'll, we'll leave all this stuff standard because we're just trying to get to it. And if you want to learn, you know, exactly how you can set your ads up, um, I put together a playlist and I'll link that down in the description or you could check it out in the pinned comments down below. You could check that out, but I want you to take a look at this first and then go back and check out the rest of the videos in the playlist. I really think you're going to enjoy it. All right. All right. So let's go to additional settings. All right, so we're going to leave all this right here alone. Let's just kind of skip along. All right, so now you can see it's people who you want to reach. All right, so now we're getting close to where we're going to be uh, um, pretty much starting to set up our keywords. All right, so demographics, audiences, and keywords. So we're going to click right here on keywords. And then as you can see, you can either do the research manually yourself, and then you can have your, your, your keywords already prepared. Um, once you get over here or you can even take like a competitor's website right or or the website that you were presented so like if you were given like a product off Clickbank or you know any product you could just take the website put it in here and it's literally going to scrape the website and give you the best keywords based on um, you know based on what it's come up with now in my experience, um, I, I don't necessarily use that method of the keyword um, ideas because I, I feel like um, when it comes to research, I truly believe in it. And so I take my time um, to actually go do the proper research. So this way I'm giving myself more of a benefit, right? At least in my opinion. But you can definitely, you're, you can always go in here, put a website, see how that works for you, all right? All right, so in this case, I'm just gonna take a few keywords that I know um, that are actual keywords to kind of explain this to you. All right, so here we go. So how to lose weight. All right, I know for sure that that's a keyword. So you can see over here, you see it circling. Now it's now instead of 10 billion, it says 2.9 million. All right, that's based on the amount of pressions that 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 you that you're going to be able to get. Now that's a rough estimate, right? That's not like exact. All right, so now we got how to lose weight. Now I'm going to put how to lose weight fast right we're just gonna add another one and let's see what happens over here all right so now it's at 3.2 million um estimated impressions all right so let's go again let's say how to lose weight um 
let, let, let's actually see let's actually see what what uh Google actually tells me over here because I actually like to put you know real keywords so I can give you guys um, you know the best content so you can kind of see what I'm really breaking down to you here all right so we're on Google and let's see what comes up for how to lose weight all right so we got how to lose weight fast how to lose weight in your face how to lose weight without exercise um, I like that one so how to lose weight quickly so I'm gonna use that one and I'm gonna probably use the other one how to lose weight quickly all right so let's see if the number actually changes after we do that so it's, it's, it's doing something over here so let's see if it changes it may or may not all right so it's still at 3.2 million um, also if we come over here it says how to lose weight uh, fast without exercise and then we'll just use that one how to lose weight fast without exercise all right so how to lose weight without exercise let's see if it changes over here it may or may not all right so all right so now it says 380 million all right so it just went up again all right so with that being said we're just gonna roll with about five keywords now this is just some advice I want to give you you don't want to come in here and start putting a bunch of keywords in here all right you you, you don't want to do that you want to roll anywhere between three five or seven I wouldn't go over seven keywords um, now now I have heard you know some people say you could stay under 10 but I just don't want to give the Google brain that much to think about right when you give the Google brain too much to think about then you, you and in my in my experience you don't really you don't necessarily get the results that you're looking for so the reason why I do this is because I want to see which keywords are actually working best now if you got like 20 or 50 or 100 keywords in here how do you know what's actually working and so that's why I like to keep it between three or either five sometimes at most about seven to eight keywords somewhere in there all right so that's some good advice now when you put the, the uh, keywords in here they don't have anything around them they don't have any brackets they don't have any of that stuff right there now that means that they're broad all right that's that means that you're probably going to get the most amount of searches is if you actually use the keywords like this but let's say I want to do it based on phrases so what I would do in this case is I would come I would do I, I would I would uh, put around how to lose weight I would do um, parentheses all right I, I said that wrong <laughs> Uh, the little markup there I can't even think of it right quotations right so when I put quotations watch this number actually go down all right so it, may, it didn't go down in this case but now if I put it around how to lose weight fast now let's see what happens when I put the uh, quotations around how to lose weight fast so it's still there it's still there and then we're just going to keep doing it around all of them let's just see if it changes anything all right so I'll put it around this one I'll also put it around this one and I'll also put it around that one all right so that number should change it shouldn't stay the same now because okay so it's still staying the same so what this means is they're gonna use phrases so anything that's somewhat relevant to how to lose weight or how to lose weight fast if they're typing something similar to that and it's some type of phrase they're gonna still put you in that bunch of allowing you to target all right now another thing that you could actually do is you can actually do what we call brackets now when you put brackets that means that it's gonna be exact that means that they would actually have to type in how to lose weight right if they don't type it if they type in anything different than that it's not gonna pull up now I usually use um, like brackets or exact right because I actually do this on um, uh, on being quite a bit I, I mostly only use exact if I'm running a campaign and I notice that that campaign is generating me um, a, a ton of leads right and based on whatever the keyword is I'll literally separate ad groups and I'll put in the ad group that specific keyword that's generating me um, you know like a bunch of sales and I'm noticing okay this gener this this keyword has generated me about five or six sales over the last two days okay well let's actually take that keyword put it in its own ad group and then bump up the bid a little bit because I know that that's working right so this is why it goes back to what I said about 
um, uh, making sure you don't put like a bunch of keywords in here. You want to kind of see what's working first. And then as you go, you just kind of say, okay, this is not working. Let's get this out of here. Right. And that's the point of, you know, not putting so much in there. All right. So the three different ways are broad, which is when you don't have anything around the actual keyword. Um, the second way is the phrase match where you actually put the, uh, per, the, the quotations around the keyword, which usually, um, you know, lessens the number over here for impression. So real quickly, what I'll do is I'll erase the other ones and I'm going to just leave how to lose weight exactly. And let's see what that pulls. Okay. So that says 2.9 million, right? And then if I were to go to try parentheses, let's see what it actually does by itself. It may or may not stay, stay the same. Well, okay, so it stays the same. And then the last one, which as you can see, that's just the main broad one. Um, it's, it's still pulling the same numbers. But usually what happens is when you use broad, it, you're going to get, that's where you're getting the most amount of searches. But then when you put in phrase, it usually goes down a little bit more. And then when you put in exact, then it really goes down. So you're looking at a lot less impressions, especially like if you're advertising on Bing, um, which doesn't get as much searches as uh, uh, YouTube or Google ads, right? So that's that's the that's the basis of setting up your keywords, whether you're using the manual way and doing the, the research on, um, by yourself, or you're actually using the website to let Google scrape your website so they can develop keywords for you, okay? So that's, for the most part, that's pretty much how... Uh, the keyword targeting works. Um, and one more thing before we get out of here, um, your keyword campaigns are actually going to be the, the, the best campaigns, um, you know, when it comes to like scaling, right? Because a lot of times, like when you're using some of the other, um, the other uh, keyword, uh, the, the other uh, targeting types, you'll notice that you'll, you'll, you'll try to scale, but it, it will only go so far. But when you're using keywords, it's like people are always constantly searching. There's always newer people. So it's just, it's a lot of scalability um, in regards to the keyword targeting, all right? So with that being said, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this was helpful. And also don't forget about the playlist. Um, it's my YouTube ads playlist I have down in the description box. I think you'll get massive value from that. Definitely check that out. Watch it. You're definitely going to learn something. And most importantly, implement what you learn. All right. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.